May your presence, O God, that changes, O God, meet them, O my Father, in the name of Jesus. We lift our prayer this morning, O God. We lift our worship this morning unto you, O God. For your word says, O God, you dwell among us the praises of your people, O God. And this morning, O God, we raise our praise praises to you. We raise our worship to you, O God, for you alone deserve our worship. You alone deserve our honor, O God. You alone deserve our adoration this morning, O God. We lift our voices unto you, O God. We lift our faith, O God, unto you. We lift our worship unto you this morning, O God, for you alone deserve it. You alone deserve it, O God. Mashandila ka sata tayari malaya doshe keleba mandiala salite rebe la kaya rabada shalia to use kereme sandala brahaya saka yata ya namaza ya rabaya serebe ralia to use kereme la ya rabas sanda ya raba thank you for your presence this morning oh God thank you for honoring us oh God thank you for filling this place with your glory oh God as we come here oh God as we behold you, O God. We know our lives will be transformed. Our lives will be changed, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, we honor you this morning, O God. As we become in your presence, O God, at Mount Zion that shall be deliverance, O God. God, uh, there shall be restoration, O oh God. Uh, there shall be elevation and Mount the Mount Man Zion, O oh God. Uh, and as we come before your presence this morning, O oh God, uh, we are expecting new things, O oh God. Uh, we are expecting a turnaround in our lives, O oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm in the book of John, chapter number 15. John chapter number 15 and Jesus is talking about the vine and its branches and this being our year of fruitfulness I want us to understand that fruitfulness comes from the place of a binding fruitfulness comes from the place of a binding in verse number two Jesus says that my father prunes every branch that bears fruit so that it can bear more and every branch that does not bear fruit, he cuts it away. And verse number four, he says, Abide in me, and I abide in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in me, or it abides in the vine. So neither can you unless you abide in me. This year of fruitfulness, I want you to understand that we will not come to the place of fruitfulness unless we are abiding in Christ. Unless we are connected with the vine, then we will not be able to bear fruit. David speaks in, uh, in Psalm chapter number 91 and says, He who abides in the shelter of the Most High shall rest under the shadow of his wings. I want you to this morning to make a prayer and tell the Lord, I want to abide in you and you in me. Let there be that connection, that fellowship between you and God because it is then that you will be fruitful. Because on your own you cannot be able to bear fruit but when you are connected to the vine then you can be sure you will be able to bear much fruit. Open your voice, open your mouth and lift up your voice and tell the Lord give me the grace to abide in you. Give me the grace to abide in you. Where there has been a disconnection between you and the vine. Where there has been no relationship between you and the vine. Ask the Lord this morning to restore that, that fellowship. Rally 
Zala Zale Tere Beladaya Zekaya Nimalita Zala Palaya Doshe Kere Beranaya Zaya Randi Bere Kala Tanama Zikaya Nama Zali Andoshe Kala Bada Zika Nama Rale Pala Dabade Kele Bere Mazaya This morning everlasting Father How I pray that we shall be reconnected back to you In the name of Jesus Christ my Father I decree and declare my Father that there are a fellowship between me and you. The rest shall be a restoration, my Father, of my relationship with you. That I shall be found abiding in you in the name of Jesus Christ. As a branch cannot be able to bear fruit without God unless it remains connected. How I pray this morning, O God, I shall be connected with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shele Pala Daya de Ketere Bala, La Giano Shele Bele Nazayata. I pray, O God, that shall be a reconnection. I shall be there, shall be a realignment, O God, where my father long have missed the place, O God, have missed my fellowship with you, O God, where see, O God, has come in between our fellowship, O God. I pray, Lord, by your mercies this morning, may you reconnect us. Back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Shele Palatana la Badala, just Shele Becana Yabalatosi, Rendia la Palacato la Bayata, by the virtue of the blood of the blood of Jesus, I was sent on the cross. But I pray that there shall be pardon, there shall be a pardon, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ, O my Father. Lord, remember mercy, O God, remember mercy this morning, O God. We saw us back to you, O God. We saw our fellowship back with you, O God. Our connection back to you in the vine, O God. Some of us, some of you, there are some sins I need to repent this morning. There are some sins you need to ask the Lord to forgive you this morning. That he shall restore you back. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of his wing. Most times we leave the shadow and we are, we are vulnerable. When we leave the shadow and we leave the presence of God, we find ourselves we are vulnerable. This is the moment. This is the opportunity for you to go back to his presence. Draw us back to you, O God. Draw us back into your presence, O God. Draw us back into your presence, O God. Draw us back into your fellowship with you, O God. Won't you give us a hunger for you this morning? A new hunger for you, O Father. A hunger that stems, O God. God, uh, from our desire and hunger to know you, a hunger that stems from the knowledge of God, uh, the desire to know you more in the name of Jesus. As Paul would pray, oh, that I may know him and the power behind this resurrection, oh God. I pray this morning, oh Father, you shall grant us that hunger. Give us that hunger, oh God, to pursue after you in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Draw us to you, O God. Draw us to you, O God. As Solomon would pray, O God, and say, Draw me. Draw me, and I will run after you, O God. Draw us to you, O Father, this morning. Draw us to you, O God. Help us to pursue after you, O God. To pursue our relationship with you. In the name of Jesus, O God. Help us to pursue our connection with you. Help us to pursue, O God. Our fellowship and us remaining in the vine. In the name of Jesus Christ, O God. Ralita na balato shelebeka, latena malatera na yalo zaya. As David would pray in 
Psalm chapter number 42 and express his heart and desire for you like a dry and thirsty land. How I pray this morning, oh God, give us a hunger and a thirst for you this morning. As branches feed from the vine, oh God, we can only feed from you, our Father. And as we feed with you, oh God, and from you, then we can be able to bear fruit. We can be able to bear fruit, oh God. We shall remain to be green. We shall remain to be green in and out of season, oh God. Give us a hunger for you. Give us a hunger for you. Give us a hunger for you, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we desire more of you. We desire more of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we desire more of you. We desire you, O God. We desire you, O God. We God. Latela Bazataya ne malado shekeleba. Ralia lo setere mezaya daba. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Rashitele be. For those of us who are joining us on Facebook, on YouTube, I encourage you to share these things to someone. Invite someone that they shall join us and pray and connect with God this morning. Because I know as you connect with God, David would say, early in the morning we rise up and seek your face. I'm in the book of Psalm chapter number one. David says that... Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit with the seat of the scornful. Sometimes the company we keep takes us away or disconnects us from the vine. And when you're disconnected, it becomes very hard for you to receive that which the vine is passing on to the other branches. Amen. Just like a bulb cannot be able to emit light unless it is connected to the mains. The moment that we are connected, we stand in the way of sinners. We, we walk in the counsel of the ungodly and sit in the seat of those who are scorning others. Then we are disconnected. Amen. But David says in verse number two, but his delight. He's talking about the blessed man. This blessed man is delight is in on the law of the world, or is in the law of the Lord, and on this law he meditates upon it day and night. And verse number three says, He shall be like a tree that is planted by the water Amen. that brings forth its fruit in its season, and whose leaf does not wither, and whatever he does prospers. I want you to lift a prayer this morning and tell the Lord, cut me off from everything that disconnects me from you. Whether it's company, whether it's people that you walk with, whether it's the people that you discuss things with, whether the people that you go out for business plans with, some are holding you back. May the Lord give you new company. May the Lord give you new destiny connectors and business partners in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray that we shall be connected with the right people. Amen. Because Amen. as we are connected then, the Bible says we shall be like the tree that is planted by the waters. Amen. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, plant me by the waters. Plant me by the waters. Give me a hunger and a desire for your word. Give me a hunger and a desire for your word. May I be found meditating upon your word. May my delight, oh God, be free found in your word. For as I delight in your word, as I keep away the company of the ungodly, as I keep away the company of sinners, as I keep away the company of the scornful, Father, I pray, replace that, oh God, God with a hunger for you. Replace that with a hunger for you, O God. How I pray this morning, O God. Every company long that draws me away from you, O God. 
How I pray this morning, oh Father. Cut it off from me, O oh God. Cut it off from me, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. La payane zalata ya le balakaya le. Ila masa me shaka bala zoka. Shana roye le kende bela da ya shaka. Zanda la praya do se kere ma shanika. La tanda ya la te ya me rosa ya ta. Shandi ya ba kose le le bela ya. Lord, every person, O God, that is connected to me, that is connected to me, cut them off from me, O God. Every person, O God, that is connected to me, and is a sinner, O God. Every cancel, O God, that comes from the wicked, I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. How I pray for new destiny helpers. I pray for new destiny collectors. I pray for new business partners this morning in the name of Jesus. Some of us, oh God, have been drawn away from your presence by the virtue, oh God, of the people that are the company that we keep. How I pray this morning, oh God, won't you have mercy on us, oh God? Won't you have mercy on us, oh God? Restore us back to you, oh God. Give us a new company, oh God. Give us new friends, oh God. Every person, oh God, every connection, oh God, every relationship that draws us away from you, oh God, I pray for a disconnection this morning. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray for a disconnection, oh God, from everything that draws us away from you, oh God, everything that disconnects us, oh God, as Paul would call them, enemy besetting sin, oh God, I pray, oh Father, that you shall give us a grace. You shall give us the power to overcome in the name of Jesus. Give us the power to overcome in the name of Jesus. The relationships of God that we need to abandon. The relationships of God that we need to cut off. In the name of Jesus. Give us the courage, oh God. Give us the courage, oh Father, to abandon and end those relationships. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh my Father. Some of us are having extramarital affairs, oh God. Others, oh God, are having papas and mamas, oh God. Sugar daddies and sugar mummies, oh God. I've drawn us away from the presence. Would you have mercy on us this morning? Have mercy on us this morning, oh God. Draw us back to you, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Every relationship, oh God, that is not drawing us to you, we cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. By the grace that flows from this altar, I cancel every relationship, oh God, that is not beneficial in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cancel every relationship, oh God, extra money to affairs, oh God. May there be a limit between you and that other person. In the name of Jesus Christ, Draw us back to you, O God. Draw us back to you, O God. Lord, replace, O God, those relationships, O God, with godly relationships. People, O God, that we shall find ourselves, O God, meditating the word of God with you. People, Lord, that we shall find ourselves drinking from the world of Christ, O God. Drinking from this world, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sheleket la pranaya zayakaya. Some of our businesses, oh God, have gone down. Some of us, we've lost our jobs, oh God, by the virtue of the company that we keep, by the virtue of the friends that we keep, oh God. This morning, oh God, I pray for a restoration. I pray for a restoration, oh God. Give us new friends, oh God. Give us new connections, oh God, that honor you, oh God. Give us new connections that honor you, oh God. 
As we build new relationships, oh God, as we build new relationships, would you bless the work of our hands, oh God? May we bear our fruit in season, oh God, in our places of work, oh God. May we bear fruits, oh God. May we meet our targets, oh God. May our production, oh God, stand out. I release the grace that was upon Daniel, that the grace that was upon upon Joseph, oh God, that whatever he lays upon, oh God, whatever they laid their hands upon, oh God, prospered. Fame upon the prosper because Joseph was in the house. Daniel served for kings because his presence was with him. From this altar, we release the grace that was upon Joseph. From this altar, I release the grace that was upon Daniel. In the name of Jesus, may you find excellence in your work. May you prosper in everything that you do. May your boss come and tell you we are prospering because of you. Like never, like Laban told Joseph. I Jacob, I know by the mission that the Lord has blessed me because of you. Every son and every daughter of this commission, oh God, I decree and declare that wherever they are, oh God, there shall be fruitfulness. There shall be fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Let's say that whatever we do, oh God, may it prosper. May it prosper, oh God. We shall not wither, oh God. In our businesses, we shall not wither. In our employment, oh God, we shall not wither. In our families, we shall not wither. Our children shall not wither. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our sins prosperity. We shall be established, oh God. In the work of our hands, oh God. We shall be established in the name of Jesus. May you thrive wherever you are in Jesus' name. Amen. Whether you're working, getting targets and then they look like they're higher, may you achieve them and surpass them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because by the virtue of you connecting to this altar, you shall not wither. Amen. Whatever you lay your hands on shall prosper. Amen. Amen. David prays a prayer in Psalm chapter number 20 and says, May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. Amen. May the Lord, may the name of the Lord of Jacob defend you. Amen. Verse number two, he says, May the Lord send you help from the sanctuary. Amen. May the Lord send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. Amen. The house of the Lord is our place, the place where we draw our strength from. And as you connect with this stream, as you connect with this altar, God is bringing help to you from the sanctuary in the name of Jesus. Every sacrifice that you've given, every sacrifice that you've made, the Lord is remembering it this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. When God wants to honor a man, he will always use men to honor him. Amen. That's why God is sending us help from his sanctuary because it is from this altar that we command the possibilities to manifest in our lives. Amen. And some of us, there are battles that we are fighting and we need God to send us help from the sanctuary. And in this month of honor, I want us to pray as, as, as it was for Mordecai, God will disturb someone mm -hmm. that we may be honored. Some of us, we've been in a place where we've worked for years and years and we've not achieved any promotion because there is a Haman somewhere who wants to, who is sitting on us. There is a Haman somewhere who is plotting things against you. I mean, the book of Esther chapter number six from us verse number one all the way to verse number four and the bible says after esther prepared a dinner for king in chapter number five the following that night of the second night the bible says and the king never slept 
So what did the king ask? He asked for the book of records to be brought to him. Amen. Whenever kings are disturbed and they do not have sleep, they don't ask for story books to read. They ask for people to come and play soft school music to play for them so that they can sleep. But the king never slept and he asked for the book of records. And in verse number two, the Bible says, and it, that's when he found that Mordecai had saved the life of a king from a plan that was there by the doorkeepers to assassinate the king. And verse number three, he asked, what was done to honor Mordecai? He asked, what honor or dignity has been bestowed to Mordecai for this act? And it was said to him, nothing has been done. I pray this morning, anything that has been, any honor that has been withheld from you, either at your place of work, either in your business, either in your ministry, your service for God, may the, may the Lord disturb someone to this morning until you are honored and the honor is accorded to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are lifting our prayer this morning and say, in this month of honor, I shall not go unrewarded for my service. Amen. Either it at my workplace, either in this altar, or wherever you have rendered your services, the Lord shall honor you. Yes. The Lord shall honor you. Yes. And because God uses men to honor men, may the Lord disturb someone somewhere until they, you are honored. Amen. Lift up your voice and pray. Amen. Lift up your voice and pray. The Bible says, Ezekiah reminded God what he had done. Ezekiah, when he was told that he was going to die, the Bible says he turned to the wall and he reminded God God, how we had walked before him blamelessly. This morning I want you to remind God that which you have done faithfully. You have served that boss faithfully. You have served that company faithfully. But you have not been rewarded. You have not been honored this morning. It is your moment to remind God of your service. It is your, it is your moment this morning to remind God of your service in the sanctuary and tell him, Daddy, I have served you wholeheartedly. Won't you remember me this morning and honor me? This month of honor, won't you honor me? Lekele de Sataya la Bala Yasheka, Randi la Tos, Letele la Yasikaya, Shana la Bala. Lord, as we live on this altar, O God, we pray for mercy, O God. We pray that the book of remembrance, O God, shall be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that that can this morning will be disturbed, O God, that she will be disturbed that supervisor, that manager will be supervised by will be disturbed this morning in the name of Jesus Christ as I kneel on this altar master I pray my father for your children I pray that the Lord that the, the promotions of God are being held back the promotions of God have been set on King of Glory. I pray, Father, that you shall smoke the mouth of God. Rekele me selebe daya kataya. La yando ko letele me sayataya. Every human, every spirit of God, every person of God that is standing in the way of our heart, O God. We accept them right now in the name of Jesus. We accept them right now in the name of Jesus. Rekele pa shadela kataya. As your word says, O God, that which has been taken away from us, O God, you are going to restore it, O God. You are going to restore it, O God. Not only a thousand times, O God. A thousand times, O God. I decree and declare this morning, O God. We are going 
to be honored. We are going to be honored to God. Our season of honor has come. Like it was, oh God, for Mordecai. He was honored, oh God. I pray this morning, oh God, you will honor us, oh God. Honor us, oh God, this morning. Honor us, oh God, this morning. Some of us, Lord, oh we've labored in your altar for so long, oh God. We have prayed for others, oh God. And we have seen doors open for them. We prayed for others, oh God. We serve people, Lord, and we've seen doors open for them. Yet, Lord, we've remained at one place, oh God. Like Ezekiah, oh God. Remember, oh God. Remember, oh God. Oh God, like as a guy prayed, oh God, would you remember? Would you remember? In the name of Jesus Christ, Shele Makataya Labado Kozera, Latia Lele Kaya La Masiaka, Shele Bushala Namasia, Lord Telebele Kaya Laba, Shale Maya La Kasaya Teda, Zaya Kaya Lebele Seleda, would you remember? Would you remember? Would you remember? Lord. Remember our service to you, O God. Remember our sacrifices, O God. As your word says, O God, in Psalm chapter number 20. May you remember our sacrifices, O God. Remember our sacrifices, also, O God. And remember our burnt offerings, O God. Remember us, O God. Honor us, O God. Remember our service to you and honor us. Shake the betera mazayada, latana la braya kate seletera, yana banya sukaya na madaya daba, ya shele besekete na maya daba. That which we have sold in your lives of people, O God. That which we have sold, my Father, in the lives of them that have come away, O God. The sacrifices, Lord, that we have put, the midnight oil, O God, we burnt in our companies, O God. Sealing deals, O God. I pray, my Father, may you. Remember us, remember us, O God. La tele mazaka yali balatosa. Remember us, O God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord remember you wherever you are. That which you have done and someone looks like they have not recognized it. May you be recognized this week in the name of Jesus. As we stand on this altar, we decree that the book of remembrance will open. As it was written in Malachi chapter number 4. That the book of remembrance was opened. May there be a memory of you and you shall be honored in the name of Jesus Christ. Rashila Batazala Payada. I'm in the book of Joel chapter number 2 from verse number 22. As God honors you, he restores you. He says, do not be afraid, you beast of the field. For the open pastures are springing up. Some of you, where you are, you're getting into a place and a season where pastures will open up for you. And the tree bears its fruit. And the fig tree and the vine yield their strength. Verse number 23. Verse number 23. Then he says, Be glad then you children of Zion and rejoice in the Lord your God. For what can we read together? For he has given you the former rain faithfully and he will cause the rain to come down for you and the latter rain in the first month. The Lord has been faithfully giving you rain for the past years, for the past months. Now he is saying, not why will you not only enjoy the, 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 the former rain, but I will bring both the former and the latter rain in the same month. 
I want you to lift up prayer and tell the Lord, may you remember me and give me acceleration. Amen. I might have been relayed and cut off for a season, but you're giving me divine speed. That which has been hidden or taken away from me, you are giving it to me consolidated in one month. That's why he says, I will give you the former and the latter rain in the first month. This is our month of honor. We are receiving both the former and the latter rain in the same month. Open your mouth, open your mouth and tell the Lord, this is my month of acceleration. As the Lord honors you, He shall accelerate you. La keshe te la praya do kaza. Ya nisa ni prika nu shalikeda. Ya linta nama si alokotera. La yeshe le bereketa ya la bada. Ya nda te le kere besa ya la bada. Shani aloko se te le besa ya la bada. Some of you, you've been having clients who have been postponing deals for you. When they tell you come to Tomorrow I'll give you a deal. They are not there to be found. This morning, oh, we are calling both the former and the latter rain in the same manner. Shake it, Eva, Blada, Yasika, Yanite, Malato, Shekeleba, Mayambele, Bereke, Lebreka, Yasataya. Lord, we are calling for the open fields, the green pastures, oh God. They are coming for them. They are coming for the God. Where, Lord, we have experience and brought in our businesses, in our families, in our spiritual life, oh God, you are bringing forth the green pastures. Yetaya la baka selebe, yalita na la prakatosha, yelele selebriano koda bara. Lord, we pray for divine acceleration, divine acceleration. As you have given us the former rain faithfully, yelema salita ya raba. We thank you, Lord, for the former rain. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. In giving us the former rain in our lives, we thank you, Lord, for giving us fruitfulness in our businesses. You've made us to be fruitful, Lord, in our deliverables at work. You've made us fruitful, oh God, in the season that has passed. No, Lord, in this season, in this month of uncommon hour of, of honor, oh God, we pray. May you release the former and the latter rain in the same month. In the name of Jesus, the former and the latter, in the same month, in the name of Jesus, I decree divine acceleration from this altar, divine consolidation, divine honor, in the name of Jesus Christ, O God, the honor of God that we should have received then, and the honor that we yet to receive, may it come back to just one, O God, in this month, in the name of Jesus. Honor your children, O God. Honor your children, O God. In the name of Jesus. Honor your children this morning, O God. Honor your children this month, O God. In the name of Jesus. La palako shekelea. Yatianda balako shekele mahada. Shandi la bakato shekela. Yalinda braya salata daya kayaraba. Yelete na yola piasya kayaraba. Yalita nele beke tele beke saya. Yalita ndoko salite le ba ya. Yaniana masika lataya. We activate the former rain. We activate the latter rain. Yalisha le beke tele la taya. Yaliano sekele be taya la. Lord, even as it is raining at this moment, it is a beginning. It is a beginning. It is a Lord an indication that you are wondering our word, O God. You are wondering your word this. This morning, that you shall give us the former and the latter rain in the same man, O God. Divine acceleration is our portion in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, divine acceleration is your portion. Yes. That which you have received and that which you are yet to receive shall be consolidated in one month. God does not need a whole year to bless you and turn your life around. He just needs a moment. <laughs> he just needs a moment. Yes. In Genesis chapter number 32, a man who has struggled for over 25 years, laboring in Laban's house, he meets with the angel and in a night, just by one, one, rest, one night of wrestling with the Lord, his life is changed. His name is changed from Jacob the supplanter and he is called Israel. The beloved of the Lord. Wow. Yes. You don't need 
many hours you just need an encounter with the Lord Amen. and he will change your life Amen. And verse number 24 the Bible says verse number 24 says when the former and the latter rain come in the same month the threshing floors that have been empty with drought the Bible says or God says your threshing floor shall be full of wheat and the vast shall overflow with new wine and oil there shall be abundance where you have enjoyed scarcity and drought where you have not had enough the Bible is saying that when the God brings you the former and the latter rain in the same month, you shall have an overflow. New wine and oil. Oil is a symbol of anointing and the presence of God, the Holy Spirit. And wine is for you to be happy. That which satisfies your, your soul and your body shall be there in abundance. And at the same time, the presence of God shall also be there. And verse number 25, he continues and says, Shalakataya. So I will restore to you the number of years. Shalataya. I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust had eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust. My great army which I sent to you. Amen. There has been a season where the Lord chastises himself. The Bible says, after a little while, after you've suffered a little while, then the Lord of glory shall he himself restore you and establish you. Amen. So the Lord is saying, I will restore to you the years. Years talk about time. Amen. There is time that you've lost in your workplace. You should have been promoted in 2012, but it's 2024. You're, you have not been promoted. The Lord is saying, I will restore to you that time. You should have been married long time ago, but down to now you're still single. The Lord is saying, I will restore to you. Amen. That which you've lost, the Lord is restoring you. When God gives you the former and the latter rain at the same time, what he's telling you is that I am able, I'm the God who is able to take that which should have happened and which is about to happen and bring it at the same time. I'm the God who can consolidate time and make it happen now. Amen. Amen. So we are lifting up a prayer this morning and tell the Lord, it doesn't matter how long it has been. I know you can do it. Yes. I know you can do it. Yes. So Lord, restore our time. Restore my time. Open up your mouth. Tell the Lord, restore my time. 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 I should be a CEO by now. Restore my time. I should be running my own company right now. Restore my time. I should be married right now. Restore my time. I should be a father. I should be a mother. Restore my time. Restore my time, oh God. The time I wasted in my sinful life, oh God. Restore it. The time I lost to my father. Still it Oh God, and my time on one, 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 one place. Restore my time, oh God. Restore my time, oh God. Lekene wa silita yeba ha. Yaliba na kato sekera. Yanipla yakasote la la ya. Restore, restore, restore this morning, oh God. Yadeba la kasata yaba ha. Some of us as parents, oh God, we lost time with our children. They have gone away, oh God, because we are not there for them, oh God. Restore, restore. Oh God, some of us lost, we have lost our spouses by the virtue, Lord, of our inability, by the virtue of us sinning, by the virtue of us not being there. Lord, restore, restore, oh God, restore time, oh God. Lepe la toka sadaya, yani seke lepere be shamira ba, yani la ya kato seke na, yande balasote la ba yadi shekera, yani malato kose rebe kele mashanda ya, restore. 
Lord, restore, oh God. Restore our fortunes, oh God. Restore our time, oh God. Yema sikele betela. Yalita ndokala yaselela. Yalimbra yato sekele ba. Yalatata yalebekele ya solaya. Yaleleke ya rashadiaka. Yambra yato sela yaliataya. Yalete la basaya kaya nama. Restore us, oh God. Restore our time, oh Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh my Father. Restore our businesses, oh God. Restore our families, oh God. Restore our relationship, oh God. Restore, 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 oh God. We want to restore our finances, oh God. Everything that concerns, oh God. That the swimming lockers, the crawling lockers, the consuming lockers, the chewing lockers, the great army, oh God, has chewed, oh God, and has destroyed us. Won't you restore this morning, oh God? Won't you restore it, oh God? In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, restore our favor, oh God. In the name of Jesus. I want us to make these declarations this morning about restoration. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, this morning, I decree and declare the favor of the Lord is upon my life. This favor brings forth promotion and increase. Favor is restoring my increase. Favor is restoring everything the enemy has stolen. Your favor is accelerating me. In the name of Jesus, every place that the adversary has stood up before me, I decree and declare divine acceleration by the virtue of your favor. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, God, your restoring. I receive my restoration. Everything that I have lost, everything that was stolen from me, everything that was withheld from me. You are restoring it now in the name of Jesus. I receive a restoration of my finances. I receive a restoration of my family. I receive a restoration of my children. I receive a restoration of my business. I receive my restoration. Open your mouth and speak for the restoration which you want to see. The restoration you want to see. Speak it right now. Speak it right now in the name of Jesus. Speak it, speak it, speak it, speak it. There's no other better prophet than yourself. You are the only one who can prophesy to yourself. You are the one who knows where the shoe is pinching you. So you are the better one to prophesy over you. Lakataya la kasera, yandi la kosekere beletaya, yandi la kado sekere betaya, raliando sekere mashadaya. Restoration, 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 Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you this morning that you restore everything upon our lives. And in this month of honor, we receive our restoration and honor at the same time in the name of Jesus. As your word says that you're going to give us the former and the latter rain at the same month. We receive it this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody touch that. Bless the Lord. Give a clap offering in the house. As exhort the Lord, praise his name because he's doing something new in your life. Amen. Amen. Today it is a very special day and I'm really honored to have led prayers this morning on behalf of our father in the house, Apostle David. And today is his birthday. Amen. What an honor. Amen. Amen. That we can be able to stand on this altar and speak a blessing upon the father of this house. Amen. I don't know what God has done to you through his ministry, but I want you to give the next two, three minutes and speak something over his life. Won't you just stand up on your feet and just speak to the Lord. Thank you for your servant, O oh God, who has labored for our lives, has labored on this altar, O oh God. He has prophesied of our lives. He has prayed of our lives. Most of us, we are who we are this morning because of his labor of life and labor in faith, O oh God. Now 
Now I pray this morning, oh God, will you bless him? Would you bless him, oh God? Won't you give him? Won't you satisfy him with long life? Won't you satisfy him with long life? May you keep sicknesses and diseases away from him in the name of Jesus Christ. I remember him and his family, oh God. We remember Reverend Eunice and the children, oh God. May you preserve them, oh God. May you preserve them, oh God. Give them, my Father, divine protection. May your presence, oh God, cover them. May your presence, oh God, surround them, oh God. Like mountains surround Jerusalem, oh God. May you surround them, my Father. Give them new oil, oh God, for this season. Give them new oil this morning, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Like David was anointed by Samuel. And again he was anointed in Ebron. And again he was anointed, oh Father. I decree a new anointing over your servant this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. May you satisfy him with good things, oh God. May you give him, my Father, the desires of his heart, oh God. Give him the sharpness of the spirit. Give him the accuracy of the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for a new realm of word that every time he stands before your people, O God, may you strengthen him, O God. May you strengthen him, O God. Send him help from your sanctuary, O God. Satisfy him with good things. Satisfy him with good things. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I am not a prophet, but as I was preparing, God laid a word in my spirit. And Apostle, I know you're watching, or probably you watch later. Allow me to speak this word over your life. Isaiah 41 from verse number 8 to 16. Probably we can project it for us. We can read together. Yes. It is a word that uh, you, you can remove the giving details first and give us a scripture. I want us where there is Israel or Jacob, we substitute that with the name of our, our father. Amen. Amen. But you, David, can we read together? But you, David, you are my servant. David, who I am chosen, the descendant of Abraham, my friend. We are reading up to verse number 16. You whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called from its father's regions and saying to you, you are my servant, I have chosen you and I have not cast away. Imagine God called him all the way from Ghana to Kenya. Amen. From the fathers of the ends of the earth. Wow. From the fathers regions and he brought in him to Kenya. Yes. He says, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, all those who are licensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. They shall be as nothing, as those who strive with you shall perish. In the name of Jesus, you shall seek them and not find them. Those who contend with you, yes. those who are against you shall be as nothing, as non-existent thing. For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. Amen. Fear not, you warm David, man of Israel, I will help you, says the Lord your Redeemer, the only one of Israel. Verse number 15. Behold, I will make you into a new threshing sledge with sharp teeth, you shall thresh the mountains and beat them small and make the hills like chaff. Verse number 16. You shall winnow them and the wind shall carry them away and the whirlwind shall scatter them. You shall rejoice in the Lord the God, and the glory in the Holy One of Israel. Amen. May this be your word, our Father, Apostle David, that in this season as you start a new year, Amen. the Lord is with you. Fear not. Yes. He has promised to uphold you with his righteous right hand. 
Those that contend with you, the Lord will contend with them. Them that fight you, they shall be disgraced and be dismayed. He says, I will make you into a new threshing sledgehammer. The Lord is anointing you afresh and giving you the anointing for territories. As you stand, as you have stood with us, we will stand with you. We'll pray with you in the name of Jesus. Can we all lift our voices and tell him, Happy birthday, Apostle David. One, two, three. Happy birthday, Apostle David. Amen. God bless you, our Father. Thank you for laboring in love for us. Amen. Amen. You can send a message of happy birthday to him. And I'll ask Teddy if you can be able to project the, the pay bill number. For those who want to just send um, a token of appreciation to him, the giving details for his birthday will be on the screen. Um, and God will bless you as you do that. This morning, I want us to honor the Lord as well with your giving. Those who are releasing your tithe and your offering, the giving details will be projected on the screen. And I know the Lord will bless you. Allow me to pray over your giving. Lord, this morning, as your people stretch forth their hands to give that which you've blessed them with, I pray that you shall release a blessing upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Them that are giving their tithes, them that are sowing their seeds, they're giving their first fruits, oh God, may you bless them, may you remember them, open the windows of heaven as it is a promise of your word and honor them for this we pray in Jesus name, amen can we say the confession of our faith and as we come to the end of this prayer the confession of faith the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. His righteousness for his name's sake. There yeah, though I, I walk through the, the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou you are turned my head with oil, and my cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy, blessings and hunger, blessing and prosperity shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Yahweh forever and ever. Amen. May we share the words of grace, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. amen and amen. Remember, we are here tomorrow again morning for another time of prayer and tomorrow evening we're having our prophetic cash right here at the Grace Arena Sanctuary. We are on Barich on Bungoma Road off Bariche Road. Please tag in a friend. Come with a friend and I know the Lord will bless you. See you tomorrow. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs>